Okay, okay, that's quickie time. So a little bit of context before I start. So Bowser X made a commentary on some guy named Carlos Pokemon and his friend Pokedown. He made a bad video on what he believes to be the worst of low-end forms in Pokemon, which was okay. Kame Toa then made a mediocre commentary on to which some funny meme in his first commentary ever responded. And boy, gonna be blunt, this is probably the worst first impression that I've ever seen. That being said, it's time for the mother freaking chaos! <gasps> Wow, already two seconds into the video and I already see an issue. Already? That's an Academy record. Like, what's with the janky editing here? As soon as we start, we get to cover part of Kurome's intro skit, which could have easily been cut like a rope to a noose. For those who don't believe me, this is how Kurome's original video actually started. Warning. Although I have considered my many to be a shitlord with no real purpose to my existence, this is true. Even I have standards, and so there will not be a single. Shut up, baby! God fucking damn it! What well, also doesn't help is that you play the entirety of Kurome's intro. Now, yeah, that might sound kind of nitpicky on my end, but as you go to explain soon afterwards, Kurome's intro is slow, so it feels really dragged out. I have something else to say on this, but it kind of ties into my final thoughts later. just awful. I have several issues with it, I'm gonna bring it up here. Number one, is so slow, and just poorly faced in general. Oh, hello there, obvious stutter that could have been easily cut out of video if the creator wasn't such a gosh darn. Also, I think it would be nice if you could actually, oh, I don't know, speak up? Like, make the images uh, pair up to the beat. I know I don't, my intros aren't that, but at least mine are, are fast. Gosh, dang it, SFM. You had a point going with the sinking issues, but then your argument crashed and broke like Reeves' legs. For one, the way you ended your statement comes off as incredibly condescending. You said, and I quote, at least mine are fast, making it sound like you're putting yourself into kind of higher pedestal than Kurome. Can I also just say I'm not a fan of the argument of intros being slow, as honestly, they are inherently a bad thing. Granted, you actually do go on to explain how the intro is poor with the sinking issues, but again, the intro being slow isn't inherently a problem here. No, number two. Everything else. Hey guys, it's Kermit here with another commentary. Today we'll be looking at Pizer Dude X, who made a comment on Carlos Pokemon's top 5 worst Pokemon in Sun Moon. Which was part of a top 10 best and worst co-op. Ah, fuck it, let's just get right into this. So for anyone wondering what's going on with my Kale Land plotline, I'm currently putting it on hold mainly because I want to work on some shorter videos. Since the next video I want to cover in the Kale Land plot looks to be a long one and I think having some shorter videos on my channel earlier on will benefit my channel's growth. It may sound selfish and maybe it is, but that's how I feel. I'll continue with the plot after my next commentary, but for now, enjoy this one. Update video? Vlog? I have never heard of this shit. I thought putting in small, minor update stuff was for my commentaries. You know how many people don't bring this stuff when people do commentaries on you and I don't think it's that big of an issue, but can you please not have these big pauses in between your lines? Like, it's so boring and drags on and makes me wanna, you know. Hey, some funny meme. How about not stand so close to the mic that your sentences don't become near impossible to hear? On to the bigger issue at hand here. The pause complaint. Okay, let me play devil's advocate here for a second. Look at what Kurome says. He's confused. More than likely, the pauses were put in there on purpose as a means to show his confusion at Bowser Dude, putting that little update in the beginning of the video. What also doesn't help is that there was an actual issue of this point, that being who the heck actually cares? Okay, I understand where you come from, Kurome, I honestly do. Ireland. Okay, bad jokes aside, though. This was at the beginning of the video, so it wasn't like, oh, I don't know, halfway through the video? But simply making an update video on that one single thing alone, wouldn't that seem kind of, I don't know, pointless? 
if he was to make about a, I don't know, 10 second or more update about that single thing alone, wouldn't it seem kind of fillerish? This honestly just comes off as a really big nitpick, as Bowser Dude doesn't have to do that. Is it just taboo to not put an update in the beginning of your video? Is an update Voldemort? Hurt, isn't it? Hypocrisy when this one is really strong. SFM? Do I need to slap you in the face with a dictionary? How is this hypocrisy? Isn't like Karome is checking a script for a video? Honestly, this was acted out so poorly that I can't tell if this was supposed to be a joke or a legitimate point. If it was an actual point, then yeah, your wording just downright sucks. Were well, you trying to say something similar to I feel the exact same way? If so, again, your wording is a vacuum. And if this was a joke, then a little inflection the tone of your voice would have been helpful. We are mid days away from what we built up as uh, arguably the best horror games in this franchise in Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. What better way to get your high levels even higher than to crap all over your favorite Pokemon, am I right? I'm not sure that was our- Let the roast begin. First off, I'm just going to take my own All the Pokemon, just awful. I'm sure it's the same time you move to that sort of I guess, I mean, just look at it. Ugh. I'm sorry, I love some of the Pokemon franchise. I don't even know what the Pokemon franchise is. You can do this all the time. They're all the time to get that Pokemon. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, it's just that Pokemon. Don't even mention it, Shai. Because I'm going to give you the board of time to set Pokemon device. I'm going to so you don't like Kamoa's design. Why? You say it looks awkward, but you give us no explanation for why you think that. Oh yeah, I see where you're coming from. It, it did seem like there wasn't anything explained there. You know, because you sped up the video to the point of it being incomprehensible. He did explain why he didn't like his design, you fucking liar. One proof, here you go. Awful Pokemon, just awful. I mean, sure, it's getting his own Z-move, so that's sort of cool, I guess. I, I guess, but I mean, just look at it. Ugh. I'm sorry, I have love for some of the ugliest Pokemon in the franchise, but hell, even Alolan Persian gets a pass in my book. Look at this awkward looking thing. They have all the potential to be the next Hydreigon or Tyranitar or Dragonite, but no, just a bad Pokemon. Don't even mention it's shiny. <sighs> Oh, hey guys, you wanna know how long it's been since I started speeding up the video? It's been a minute and 28 seconds! Holy shite, SFM. I could be reading Twilight and it could still drag on less than this. I feel like I'm watching more of a Kome Toa video than some funny meme video. You aren't Deku. I mean, after all, even Deku was better. It's like someone at Game Freak got bored by the time they got to this Pokemon and realized. Oh crap, we need a dragon for this region. Okay, well, here we go. We'll base it on a potentially awesome looking dinosaur and I don't know, we'll put some scales on it so no one will question if it's a dinosaur. Blech. Next up is Pugumuku. This one is just annoying because it could have been something great. Unfortunately, what we got, however, was just another useless Wobbuffet. Not only that, but I personally felt an evolution could have really helped out this guy. It just doesn't seem like a complete Pokemon to me. What with it being so small and having such a bad move pool? I will admit it has a pretty nice ability, if you need a Kamikaze member on your team, of course. But other than that, I can only see this thing being a major hazard in somebody's Nuzlocke. And again, you don't explain your reasoning for not liking Pukumuku. We just sat here and listened to his explanation as to why he didn't like this Pokemon. And you claim he didn't give one. I... You... Just... Fuck off. What I think he meant to say was he didn't give a good explanation as to why he didn't like Pukumuku. You think? You think. So in other words, your own opinion. So in other words, based on conjecture doesn't really say anything, then I disagree. And so you're correct, and that is what Bowserdu meant. In the case of Kurame's argument, that's just another flaw for Bowserdu, considering he worded himself really poorly. Alright, I'd also like to mention we spent more than two minutes for about a 10 second interjection. SFM, just eat some soap. I get better taste in thinking romping characters. So... Bada bing, bada boom, skadoodle skadoodle, your dick is now a noodle. Okay, the video ends after this, so I'm gonna end it here. Final thoughts time. Karoma, you're better than this. Why did you do this? All, all the other points you said here are. Uh, this video bad, I don't like it. Yep! I totally have reason to believe that claim. I mean, after all, you say all the other points. Meaning the points that you didn't cover, meaning we don't get to see if this claim was true or false. This is a good video. It, like, okay, cool, we get that, but you don't give a real explanation as to why. Wait.
This was kind of rushed. Anyway, it was kind of clicky, and I needed this to happen at some point, so... Help! I need somebody! Help! Yes! You do need help! Ugh, okay, okay. I guess I'll just move on to my final thoughts. You know, your description was correct. This is rust. In fact, this might be the most rushed commentary I've ever seen. Showing in the fact that this video was made exactly one day after Kurome released his own. Your points barely did anything to debunk Kurome, the presentation was terribly poor, and in the end I feel this video was made just so we could get to Kurome's video first, considering some others may be planning on hitting it. I think that's what bugs me the most here. No heart. Or soul was put into this video. It personally makes this one of my least favorite commentaries of 2017. Your move, SFM. You want to advance? Why are you stuck at stalemate? Because so far it seems like you're a rook who can't take the Chaos King. So have a nice day.